Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. In this video, I am going to be sharing how to do this ultra cool effect with a cat eye gel and a chrome. It's so unique yet so easy to achieve. So it's super fun and cool. And in this set that I did, I also ended up with some lifting that I needed to repair. So I'm going to go over how I removed that lifting and then refilled the nails as well. So let's go ahead and get started. This is what my nails looked like at the beginning. And I don't know if you can see it. I can see it because I've been been doing nails for 10 years but I can see that I have two pocket lifts one on the pointer one on the thumb there you go I can see where I'm kind of like outlining to show you the different color uh, you can kind of see that it's more of a whiter color that's where that pocket lift is and the reason I got it is honestly I haven't been doing my nails as often as I should I've been letting them grow out I haven't been taking care of them so I decided that this time I would switch the gel that I have on my nails to the luminary gel because it's a little bit more flexible and I think it's just gonna work better with my nails right now and so I wanted to switch to that so first I'm gonna be removing this old product as always in every video I use Erica's bits and implements and I also have an e-file from Erica's ATA so if you want to check any of that stuff out I do have a coupon code which is AMB10 and that'll save you 10% so I'm using the carbide barrel from Erica's and I'm just gonna be removing this old product and as you can see as I'm thinning out the product you can kind of see a little bit better where that pocket lift is and how you want to get out lifting is you actually want to get behind the lift and kind of carve it out ever so gently. You don't wanna to touch the natural nail with your carbide bit, but you just wanna kind of go around that lift, kind of carve it out, and it'll just pop out just like that super easily. I don't recommend using nippers or kind of chipping away at the lifting because that's only going to cause more lifting. It's just gonna be like this endless cycle of trying to pull it off and you're just gonna keep causing the product to come off more and more and more of the nail so don't do it that way don't use nippers just use your e-file and gently gently just carve out where that lifting is make sure to not touch the natural nail with your carbide bit and it should easily just kind of pop out and then you're good to go so I'm just again I'm gonna thin out the product on all the nails because I'm really gonna switch over to the, my luminary gel for my nails this time so I'm just using again using my e-file and removing that product So here's what my nails look like now after thinning out and removing a lot of the product you can see where the lifting was and how it just kind of easily popped out right there now I need to do my prep and I'm gonna be using the Erica's Russian flame bit for this so first I'm just pushing back the cuticles and then I'm gonna to switch to my bit keeping it on a low speed about 10,000 rpms and I'm going to start in the forward direction and I'm gonna work from right to left on my cuticle area and I'm also using this bit to prep my natural nail as well. So I'm gonna remove the shine from my natural nail and it will be all prepped and ready to go for the product and remove any of that stuck on cuticle, dead skin, anything that's stuck on the nail plate, you wanna make sure and get that all off.
Once I've gone through this direction on all the nails, I'm going to flip my e-file into reverse, and then now I'm gonna work from left to right down the other side of my nail. And what this does, it allows me to push back that skin around my nail, around the entire cuticle area, the entire nail. Otherwise, if you just go one direction, it kind of just only pushes the skin back on one side of the nail and not both sides. So this way you can kind of get all that skin around the entire nail, entire cuticle area pushed up and away from the nail. Now I'm using my Erica's Boss Lady Nippers and I'm just nipping off the skin that is hanging up, waving at me, like hanging up off the nail. So I say this in every video, if you don't feel comfortable with this part, you can totally skip this part. Lastly, for my prep, I'm using a ball bit, again, from Erica's ATA, and this one's in the fine grit. And I'm going around my cuticle area, again, with the ball bit, and this is just going to smooth out any rough edges or blunt cuts that the cuticle nippers may have left. And this is going to prevent hangnails. It's just gonna create a much cleaner, nicer cuticle area. Lastly, I'm using the softer side of my nail file and I'm just making sure there's no little bits of lifting left on the nail and I'm just gently buffing it. Do not over file your nails. That was a mistake that I made a lot when I was a beginner is I filed my nails way too much and they got thin and damaged. So just barely, barely file them just to make sure any of the little lifts are gone. You don't need to like really overdo it and really file them just barely and use the gentle side. Now I'm cleansing my nails with some cleanser and for cleanser I use 99% alcohol with a little splash of acetone in it. So you can make your own cleanser that way. And I'm going to be applying the Luminary Commit Primer. I use this primer on everyone, everyone. I love it. So I'm going to do one coat of my primer and then my nails are ready for the gel. The luminary color that I'm applying is called Harmony. It is a really nice kind of like bubblegum pink color. And so I'm going to apply a thin layer over the entire nail. This is like my slip layer. And then I'm going to apply a bigger bead and float that down the nail and get it nice and smooth as possible while also keeping a little bit of an apex or a little bit of more of a thickness in the center of the nail so that it has good strength. And if you're not sure what luminary gel is or you haven't heard of it, I do have a separate video all about luminary gel and explaining it. It is a builder gel. It's also soak off, so you can soak it off with acetone. Also for this particular set, I am applying more gel than what I would normally apply just because I removed you know, about 95% of the gel that was already on my nail. So I'm gonna have to build it back up and build that structure back up. So normally I wouldn't usually apply this much at one time. Also, this gel does have a heat spike. And so if you would rather apply it in like two or three thinner layers, you can totally do that as well. <laughs> Here's what the nails looked like after all of the gel was applied. And so I'm just gonna take a little bit of time, shorten them and smooth them out so they are all ready to go for my color. 
And so this is what they look like after I did all that. So a little bit shorter, same shape, and I just used my hand file to get any, if there was any bumps or anything, get those all nice and smooth and have a nice shape. For this super fun design, I'm using the Daily Charm Cat Eye in the color C04, and it's a really pretty pink cat eye. And you can also save 10% from Daily Charm using my code KD10, and they make some of like the best cat eye gels. Like I absolutely love them. So it goes on super, super nice in only one coat, and it has such like a really good strong magnetic effect. So I definitely recommend the Daily Charm cat eye gels if you are looking to add some cat eye gels to your collection. So I'm going to apply one coat of this. And by the way, the reason why my nails are shiny is because I applied a peel off base coat so that this design would just be temporary and then I could do another design later. So use your magnet, the magnet side facing up and kind of get close to the nail around all the sides. And that's gonna give you that really cool like velvet cat eye effect where you see the sparkle and then it kind of disappears depending on the way you turn your nail. And then you wanna make sure I do cure each nail one at a time because the magnetic pigments in the gel can kind of, kind of relax a little bit if you wait too long. I do get the cat eye gel like exactly how I want it to look and then make sure and cure it so that it's all secured into place. So I'm gonna paint that on all the nails. And I also, you, you won't see me do my thumb in this video and it's only because I used my thumb for filming a reel and a TikTok. So I do my thumb, don't worry, but you'll see at the end that they're all done. Now, once all the nails are done, I'm going to top coat them, but I'm going to make sure that it is a no wipe top coat because I actually want to apply a chrome on top of this now, and it's gonna create the coolest effect. So for this top coat, I'm using the Profiles Outshine No Wipe Top Coat. The chrome I'm using for this is from Magpie Beauty and it's in the color Anona. It has a really pretty kind of pinkish, goldish kind of color to it. It kind of reflects different colors depending on which way you turn your nail. So I'm just gonna use an eyeshadow sponge and I'm going to rub that chrome onto that cured no wipe top coat and it just creates the coolest like effect over top of that cat eye. It's so cool. So I'm gonna do this now for all the nails. Once the chrome has been applied, I'm going to use a little duster brush, a little fluffy brush, and kind of dust away any of the excess chrome. And then in order to keep the chrome lasting and chip free, I file the free edge of my nails with my file. This is gonna help your next layer of top coat have something to stick to because it actually can't really stick to the chrome. There's nothing for it to attach to. So when you file the edges, it gives a little bit of a grit for the top coat to stick to around the edges and it's gonna be nice and sealed and you won't have to worry about chipping. I also have a whole nother video about chrome nails and how to do them, how to ensure that they last a long time without chipping. So check that out too if you want a full video on chrome nails. So I'm going to finish these nails by top coating and I'm going to top coat them twice. And that's another tip again to ensure that it doesn't chip and making sure and I go around and seal the edges, go around all the edges of the nail and everything and do that twice. And this is the end result. I think it's so cool the way that you see that cat eye shift kind of underneath the chrome and then you have that chrome on top that adds another layer of like iridescent reflectiveness. It's just the coolest effect. I think it's really, really cool in person too. I definitely wanna try this look using different colors of cat eye, different colors of chrome. There's literally like so many combinations that you could do to create this look in different ways. So if you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like and don't forget to subscribe. I try to put out videos every week all about nails, nail tutorials, hauls. I'm gonna be doing a studio tour soon, so don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss that. And also don't forget to follow me on my social media, Instagram, TikTok, you name it. And so I will see you guys in the next video and I appreciate everyone and all of you guys for watching. Bye.